Do you keep waking up in the middle of the night to pee? You finally fall asleep, then it's 1 a.m., 3 a.m., sometimes even 4.30 and you're up again. It ruins your rest, destroys your REM sleep, and leaves you dragging all day. Most people think it's just a weak bladder or too much water at night, but here's the real truth. The problem often starts in your legs, your circulation, and your hormones. Let me explain. All day, gravity pulls fluid down into your ankles and calves. And by the end of the day, your legs are like sponges that are holding extra water. And when you finally lie down at night, the fluid redistributes into your bloodstream. Your kidneys filter it, your bladder fills, and suddenly you're wide awake with the urge to pee all over again. This is called nocturnal fluid shift, and it happens to millions of people every night. But here's the fix. If you can clear the fluid from your legs before bed, your bladder won't get slammed overnight. The main tool is your calf muscles. They're often called your second heart because they pump blood and lymph back up to the chest every time you contract them. And if you sit all day, which many of us do, and then collapse in the bed without activating them, that fluid just sits there. So here's the simple trick. Pump your ankles up and down like you're pressing a gas pedal, 30 to 60 times. Or do standing heel raises for a minute. Or lie on your back and bicycle your legs in the air. Every one of these moves squeezes the veins and lymph channels in your calves, literally pushing the trapped fluid back up towards your heart and kidneys while you're awake. That means your body processes it earlier, not while you're trying to sleep. Think of your legs like two water balloons. If you squeeze out the water before bed, they don't leak at all. They don't leak all night long. Now here's where it gets fascinating. Once the fluid shifts upwards, your kidneys control whether you make urine or not. That's where your hormones come in, especially ADH or antidiuretic hormone. ADH normally rises at night to slow urine production so you can sleep. But if you've got a flood of leg fluid hitting your kidneys, as soon as you lie down, ADH can't keep up and you wake up. So by clearing that fluid with movement and leg elevation, you restore the natural ADH rhythm so your bladder actually gets a break. And this also ties into your blood pressure hormone, the renin, angiotensin system, which regulates sodium, water, and pressure. And when your legs are congested, your body reads that as a pressure imbalance and your kidneys dump more urine to compensate. That's why people with swollen legs often wake up multiple times at night. But this is reversible with these circulation tricks. So here's your nightly protocol. About 10 minutes before bed, sit back, and elevate your legs on a pillow or against the wall for three to five minutes. This gives gravity a chance to assist drainage. And while your legs are up, pump your ankles, rotate them in circles, or, or do gentle scissor kicks. When you stand, do a set of calf raises. If you want to take it further, use compression socks during the day to reduce that fluid pulling. So you start the night ahead. Now, Let's add in lifestyle pieces. Don't drink large amounts of water within two hours of bedtime, especially tea or alcohol, which acts as a diuretic. Get your hydration and electrolytes in earlier in the day, what I call front loading, so your kidneys finish processing before you lie down. And you may want to split your magnesium if you take it with some at dinner and a little bit less before bed because Large late doses can sometimes increase more urination. And here's another overlooked piece. Your nervous system. Your bladder is controlled by a reflex arc in your spinal cord. And when you're stuck in fight or flight mode, that's a sympathetic mode, that reflex becomes overactive. That means even a small amount of urine triggers the urge to wake up. You can calm this reflex by activating the parasympathetic system. Just 60 seconds of slow diaphragmatic breathing before bed signals your brain and bladder that it's safe to stay quiet through the night. 
So when you put this all together, you now have a complete strategy. Clear the fluid from your legs with calf pumps, bicycles, or heel raises. Elevate your legs briefly to help that drainage. Front load your fluids, balance electrolytes, and manage magnesium timing. Calm your nervous system with a minute of belly breathing. These aren't gimmicks. This is pure physiology. You're using gravity, circulation, hormones, and your nervous system, science, to finally take control of your nights. And the beauty is this, this costs nothing, requires no pills, and works with the way your body is designed. So don't accept broken sleep as normal. Try this tonight. Share it with someone you love and get back to those deep seven to eight hours your brain and body desperately needs. Because when you fix your legs, you fix your bladder. And finally, you fix your sleep. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please put it to use. I only wish you good health to you, your loved ones and family. Please share it with them as well. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.